It's outrageous. I'm sick of it. Former Attorney General Mark Shurtleff describes a harrowing scene at his home in which he says his 20-year-old son and teenage daughter are terrorized by agents in paramilitary gear. Shurtleff says his daughter was in the bathroom when agents stormed it. My tiny little five foot four, 115 pound sweetheart who never harmed a fly comes out with four officers in body armor, automatic weapons pointed at her chest. By the time we arrive at Shirtliff's house, there is no sign of troopers and SWAT gear, but we did see men and women dressed in shirts and ties, and some agents are seen carrying FBI utility jackets and guns. Well, these people are just doing their job. At the same time, John Swallow is also being served with search warrants. He is shown here casually speaking with top DPS agent Scott Nesbitt. Swallow acknowledges the warrant, but he doesn't express any alarm about how it's served. I haven't seen the, the warrant. My wife's in the house. I think they've sh shown it to her. A source close to the investigation tells us the same agent was in charge of serving both warrants, and both were executed the exact same way. Our source says professionally and calmly. And the source says given the high profile of the subjects, agents went to great lengths to avoid anything close to what Shirtliff describes. They had to bust into my door. Meanwhile, Shirtliff has unleashed his anger across Utah in radio and television interviews. He's even attacked the man heading the criminal investigation, Scott Nesbitt, calling him a liar. It's led by an agent who is out of control, Agent Nesbitt, who have serious problems with his truthfulness 